Uh, good evening. Uh, let us discuss today's uh, exam uh, question paper. The third one here, if you see the question is, two bulbs of 100 watts and 40 watts are connected in series. Okay. And you, this is also very important. Uh, series formula, what is the series formula? Only two bulbs are there. Na? So R is equals to R1 plus R2. And resistance formula, when resistors are connected in parallel, 1 by R is equals to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. Okay, so this is the formula you remember it. Very important uh, for board exam. Now let us discuss this question. There are two bulbs, 140 watts, which are connected in series. The current through 100 watt bulb is 1 ampere. Okay, so let us suppose if you draw the diagram, let us imagine this is a bulb. Okay, this is a bulb and there is another bulb. These are, one is 100 watts and the another one is 40 watts, okay. So these, how they are connected, both are connected in series. Let us imagine they are connected in series. This will be the series connection, okay. Fine. Now he is saying that the current flows through 100 watt is 1 ampere. Let us imagine the current I is equal to 1 ampere is flowing through 100 watt. Then what about the current in 40 watt bulb? So what will be the current in 40 watts? See, current flows only in one direction. If current is 1 ampere in 100 watts, then both are connected in series. So same amount of current will flow in even 40 watts also. So answer will be 1 ampere because they are connected in series. This is the uh, third answer. Now let us go to the next question. The question is an electrical con uh, sorry kettle consumes 1 kilowatt of electric power 1 kilowatt, okay, power. So first, I told you already, whenever you get a question, first you write the given value. So given, given power is equals to 1 kilowatt, okay, fine. And also voltage is given, voltage is equals to how much? 220 volts, right. Now, if you observe these units of the, uh, volt is a SI unit, but kilowatt is not a SI unit, it's a bigger unit. So you need to convert SI unit uh, of power. What is the SI unit of power? Watt, right? So 1 kilo. Kilo means how much? 1000. Power is equal to 1000 watts. Now what is he asking? A fuse wire of what rating? So fuse wire uh, we use to, to uh, control the circuit from overloading, from excess amount of current, right? So indirectly is asking what is I, current. Sometimes you can check with options also. See all the options. The unit is mentioned A. A means ampere. Ampere is a unit for current. So we know the formula. What is the formula? P is equals to okay. P is equals to V into I. Right. Okay. So we we have different formulas. P is equals to uh, I square R uh, V square by R. Okay. So there are different formulas, but we take the formula based on the given values. Now power is equals to, so from this, what will be the current? I is equals to P, B, P by V. So what is power? Power is given 1000, 1000 divided by voltage, how much? 220, okay, fine. So if you cancel it, sorry, uh, voltage is how much? 220 volt. So 5, the 2 11s are, and 2 5s are 10, 2 zeros are 0, okay. Uh, 11, 1 is 11, 11, 4 is 44, okay, 44, I will solve it, 11, 1 is 11, okay, 11, 4 is how much, 44, okay, so 10, 4, 6, and if you take point zero, eleven five 11, 5 is 55, so you are getting almost 4.5, okay, so 4.5, which is almost equivalent to, equivalent to how much, 5, so answer will be, 5 amperes. This is also a very important question which was asked in the board exam previously. Okay. So answer will be, answer is actually 4.5 which is almost equal to 5 amperes. This is the answer for fourth one. So fourth one is option C. Okay. Fine. You pause the video and watch it, watch it again. Okay. Now let us go to the sixth question. Okay. Uh, assertion reasoning. In an open circuit, current passes from one terminal to another terminal. He is saying in open circuit, when circuit is open, how will the current flow? Current won't flow, right? So, but he is saying current passes, so it is wrong. And generally, the metal cap of the cell acts as a positive terminal. Yeah, this is correct only. I will show you one picture. I will show you a...
Let us watch the diagram. See here, this is called metal cap. Okay, you might have seen uh, the cell. Okay, so metal cap given is uh, which uh, terminal positive and metal is negative terminal. Okay, so you remember this and let me show you the question once again. Okay, so what is he asking? The metal cap act as a positive terminal. Yes, this is correct. So what will be the answer? A is false, but R is true. So option B is the answer for sixth one. Okay, fine. Now look at this uh, eighth one. Priya has a copper wire and aluminum wire of same length. Okay, Priya is having two different materials. Okay, two different conductors. One is aluminum and another one is copper. They are of same length. So length of L1 is equal to length of L2. Both length are same. Can the electrical resistance of two wires be same? Now he is asking resistance is same for both? No. It won't be same. Why? Because both are not copper. Though they are lengths are equal, but the uh, but the uh, material is different, right? One is copper and another one is aluminium. So resistance can't be uh, can't be same because they are both are two different materials. And also, what about resistivity? Okay, resistivity also different, na? Resistivity also different. You can see in the table uh, which is given in your textbook. Okay, so answer will be resistance. Though the length is uh, same. Okay, but the resistance won't be same because they are how they are of different materials and resistivity is also not same. Okay, and you can also say that uh, resistance of copper is less. Okay, resistance resistance of copper is less than aluminium. That answer also you may write for this eighth one. Okay, now let us go to question number nine. So question number nine is saying a VI graph, voltage and current graph is given here. Okay, Y axis voltage and X axis current. So, nichrome wire. So, which wire we are taking here? We are taking nichrome. Okay. Uh, is given below. What do you infer from this graph? Draw label uh, circuit diagram. Obtain such a graph. Okay. So, this is a uh, about graph. And here we are taking a nichrome wire. Answer I have prepared here. I will show you the answer. And I will same answer I will upload in the description also. You can download it from there. Okay. Okay, you can see the answer. So answer is given here. Okay, and this will be the diagram for for this question. Okay, fine. Any doubts? If you have, you may uh, mention in the comment box. I will clarify the doubt. Also. Okay, let us go to the next question. The next question is twelve. Okay, because ten, 10 and eleven are the ten and eleven are the Biology questions and 12th is the 12th is the uh, physics question. Okay, and this answer also, this answer also, I have I'll I have already re prepared there. Okay, so what does the electric circuit mean? So what is electric circuit? Electric circuit is a closed path which allows the flow of current, or where the electric current flows, which contains um the devices, right? Like cell or battery. Okay, conducting wires will be there. Bulb will be there. A meter, voltmeter, so which okay, so this is this is called electric circuit and name the device which helps them maintain potential difference across a conductor. So which gives the potential difference, which will give energy for the flow of electron battery or cell. So that is the answer. And when do we say the potential difference across conductor is one volt? Okay, so one volt, how much? One volt is equal to one joule by one coulomb. Okay, so definition I have given in the answers. You may download it and you read the answer for the 12th question. Okay, fine. Let us go to the next question. And the last one is 14th one. Okay, so what is the 14th question here? Study the circuit diagram. As you can see, the 14th one, a circuit diagram is given. All B1, B2, B3. These three are the bulbs. Okay, how they are connected? If you observe carefully, they are connected in parallel. And what is the potential difference? Voltage 4.5. No, sorry, 4.5. And ammeter is connected to positive terminal of the cell. Okay, fine. Now study the circuit. Uh, three identical bulb B1, B2, B3 are connected in parallel with a battery of 4.5 volt. Answer the following questions. What is the first one? What will happen to the glow of the other two bulbs if bulb B3 get fused? If B3 fails, what happened to other two bulbs? Nothing happens. They glow with the same brightness or they go brightly or they work as usually without any break because they all are connected in 
parallel. If series, if one bulb fails, other bulb won't work. Okay, you know already. So this is the answer for first one. Now, second one, I have not given this question or question paper and both the answer paper I will attach in the description. You can download the uh, the question paper and answer answer from the given uh, link. Okay, when the bulbs are in parallel wattage. Okay, when the bulbs are in parallel. Okay, comma wattage will be added 4.5 watt. So 4.5 watt is what? 4.5 watt is the power, na? Okay, power is equal to how much? 4.5. Okay, and the ammeter reading would be now is asking ammeter. Ammeter gives what? Ammeter gives current. Okay, so P and uh, what about voltage? Voltage is given 4.5 volts. Okay, now is asking I. You know the formula. What is the formula? P is equals to V into <laughs> I. From this, what will be the I value? I is equals to P by V, right? Now, what is power? 4.5. What is voltage? Again, 4.5. So, 4.5, 4.5 get cancelled and you will get 1 ampere. So, 1 ampere is the current. Now, he is asking to find the total resistance in the circuit. Okay. So, what will be the total uh, resistance? Tell me. Resistance R is equals to direct formula V by I. V is equals to I R ohms lana, you know formula. According to formula, V is equals to I R and I want R. R is equals to V by I. Total resistance you don't you know need not to do 1 by R is equals to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus R. Why? Because resistance values are not given. Okay. Fine. Now V by I. What is voltage here? Voltage is 4.5 volt. And what about current? 1 ampere. So, this is equals to 4.5 ohms. Okay. Don't forget to write units. Units are very important. So, resistance will be 4.5 ohms. This is the answer for the 14th question. Okay. So, practice this, these answers once again. Download the question paper from the description and even as well as uh, answers also. Okay. So, thank you and all the best for the coming exam.